Good day! In this video, we are going to talk about the limits of logarithmic functions. Now, exponential functions of the form f of x is equal to b raised to x were graphed in the previous lesson. The inverse of exponential function y equals b raised to x is called logarithmic function y equals the log of x to the base b. When two functions are inverses of each other, their graphs are primarily in the same size and shape. In fact, they are simply reflections of each other with respect to the line y equals x. This can be used to generalize the rule for the limit of logarithmic functions. Actually, direct substitution can also be applied for logarithmic functions. However, because y equals the log of x to the base b is not defined for all real numbers, there will be times when the limits fail to exist. Two limits of interest are the limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches 0 from the right and the limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches positive infinity. Let's have our first example. Find the limit of the log of x to the base 4 as x approaches 0 from the right. So here, let's have our table of values. Again, since our x is approaching 0 from the right, then we need to make sure that the values we assign to x are approaching 0 from the right. So from the right, we have chosen the values 2, 1, 0, 1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, 0 0.0001, 0 0.0001, and 0 0.0001, and their corresponding values of f of x. Now, look at the trend of the values of f of x. Are the values of f of x increasing without bound? decreasing without bound or approaching a certain number here is the graph of f of x equals the log of x to the base b now as x approaches zero from the right the value of f of x decreases without bound and it goes to negative infinity again as x approaches 0 from the right, we can see that the values of f of x also goes to negative infinity. Therefore, the limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to negative infinity, where b is greater than 1. Okay? So you need to remember that in cases we are looking for the limit of the log of x to the base b and b is greater than 1 as x approaches 0 from the right then automatic the answer is negative infinity let's have example 2 find the limit of the log of x to the base 4 as x approaches positive infinity so in the previous example we have as x approaches 0 from the right in this example, we have as x approaches positive infinity. So using the table of values, again, in assigning values to x, we have to make sure that the values we assign to x are really approaching positive infinity. So in this case, we have the values 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000, and their corresponding values of f of x. Now, look at the values of f of x. What is the trend of the values of f of x? Are the values increasing rapidly? Or are the values decreasing rapidly? Okay, let's verify using the graph of our function. Here's the graph of the log of x to the base 4. Okay? Now, since we are looking for the limit of our function as x approaches positive infinity, then trace the graph from left to right. So tracing the graph from left to right, we can see that as x approaches positive infinity, the values of f of x are also increasing rapidly. Meaning to say, the limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches positive infinity 
where b is greater than 1 is equal to positive infinity. Let's have our third example. Find the limit of the log of x to the base of 1 half as x approaches 0 from the right. So, since x is approaching 0 from the right, then we need to make sure that the values we assign to x are really approaching 0 from the right. So here are the assigned values to x with their corresponding values of f of x. Now, look at the trend of the values of f of x. To the right, are they decreasing, increasing, or approaching a certain number? Okay, let's verify your idea on its graph. Here we have the graph of f of x equals the log of x to the base 1 half. So since we are looking for the limit of our function as x approaches 0 from the right, so tracing the graph to the right of 0, we can see that as x approaches 0 from the right, f of x is increasing rapidly. Therefore, the limit of the log of x to the base 1 over b as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to positive infinity. Let's have our fourth example. Find the limit of the log of x to the base 1 half as x approaches positive infinity. So in the previous example, we have as x approaches 0 from the right. In this example, we have as x approaches positive infinity. So assigning values to x, we have 1, 2, 4, 64, 128, and 256. Now observe the trend of the values of f of x. Are the values increasing, decreasing, or approaching a certain number? Alright, so from the table of values, we can see that as x approaches positive infinity, the values of f of x are also decreasing. Now let's take a look at the graph of our function. So here is the graph of our function. So since we are looking for the limit of our function as x approaches positive infinity, trace the graph from left to right. So we can see that as x approaches positive infinity, the values of f of x are also decreasing. Meaning to say the limit of the log of x to the base 1 over b as x approaches positive infinity is equal to negative infinity. So in summary, the limit of logarithmic functions y equals the log of x to the base b for all real numbers c in the domain of y equals the log of x to the base b. The limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches c is equal to the log of c to the base b. And if b is greater than 1, then the limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches positive infinity is equal to positive infinity. And the limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to negative infinity. And if b is greater than 0 but less than 1, meaning to say b is a proper fraction, then the limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches positive infinity is equal to negative infinity. And the limit of the log of x to the base b as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to positive infinity.